my dad, when he was, uh, oh, 18, 19 years old, he had a lot of pet rattlesnakes. And when he was 19, he worked at a tourist attraction. He guided through it. It was a place called Hidden City. When he'd get done with the tour, it'd be a hot summer day. So he would very nonchalantly, just like take his cowboy hat off and wipe his brow. And lo and behold, on top of his head was a live prairie rattlesnake. Well, as you can well imagine, at that point in time, people could care less about Hidden City. They wanted to know about reptiles, rattlesnakes, or the nutcase that would have a live one on top of his head. And that's really what gave him the idea of starting Reptile Gardens, that whether people hated them or not, there appeared to be a fascination with them. And two years later, he borrowed $400, dug a great big pit in the ground, caught animals that were indigenous to South Dakota, and that's how Reptile Gardens began. Really, what I find most enjoyable about working together with my family is quite simply, working together with my family. I feel that I have, uh, I'm just a blessed person in that I'm able to go into work every day. I work with wonderful, positive people that are direct family members and, or maybe just part of our whole Reptile Gardens family. It's a great, great experience. There are a lot of times when there's gonna be joy, there's a lot of times when there's gonna be controversy, but when it all comes down, everybody's there to support each other and to make sure our business succeeds and I can't imagine doing anything else. Most of our challenges have been things that, like outside the family, like the fire we had in 1976 that destroyed the dome and most of our reptile collection. Of course, anytime you've got a transition from first generation to second, there are issues and challenges, but I think we all faced it head on and, and moved forward, and I think everybody in the family's found their niche in the business now. No matter what challenges arise within our family or within the business, we are all extremely motivated to continue making Black Hills Reptile Gardens successful. But I'll tell you, one of the things that really sets us apart, I believe, is the fact that our customer service is over the top. And that is because we have so many wonderful, wonderful people that work for us now and also have worked for us over the years. Matter of fact, uh, we're gonna be having our 80th anniversary this summer. All former employees are invited to it. And we fully expect to have three, four, 500 people show up. So many people have worked at Reptile Gardens in our 80 year history, and our family is 100% in debt to those people for their work and dedication and making Reptile Gardens what it is today. Obviously, we could not have done anything or been where we are without them. Well, the future looks bright. Reptile Gardens improves every year. Our staff works very hard to not only improve the physical part of the facility, but also our staff. You know, we work very hard every year just to create a better experience. You know, I think my parents, Maude and Earl, would be so proud of how the business has held up over the years and the fact that we all still get along so very well. My family would just really like to thank the Prairie Family Business Association for giving us this wonderful honor. We can't tell you how much we appreciate this. Thank you so much.